I am playing Crush the Blood Braided. I had this deck built a while ago, and I took it apart because it was kind of too much for my playgroup. So I have since rebuilt it for this playgroup. Um, it's just a tr probably like a mid-tier deck that, you know, I just want to do Jun things. So for you who might not know, Crush is 2 and Jun. That's black, red, green. For a human warrior, 3-3, three, three, whenever another creature dies, you may put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on Crush the Blood Braided, where X is that creature's power. So just incidental value. Uh, I'm going to draw. And I will start off with a tapped blood crypt, and I will pass to Leslie. All right. I will start off by telling you that I am playing Lyra Dawnbringer. I was just thinking that with Keldime coming out um, pre-release this weekend, there is a ton of Valkyries, and I am looking forward to putting some of those in this deck. So I figured I should uh, warm myself up again. So Lyra, of course, does what she does and buffs up all of the other angels. And so we'll do some fun life gain shenanigans, hopefully. And I'm going to draw. Oops, I, I drew two, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> cheating. No, <I'll> pass <laughs> Cheating uh, already. <laughs> it's okay. Everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. So I'm playing my Gen Arkham or Gen Arkham Weaver deck. Um, it costs one red, one white, and a black. And it is a 2-3 with the ability I can pay Mardu and tap it and sacrifice an enchantment and return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your battlefield. So I'm playing kind of... I took apart my Salvala deck and I took apart my Mogus deck. Uh, I like to say... I think this is like my uh, pain and taxes deck. So with everything that's fun, there always has to be some not so fun so i will draw for turn and i am going to play my sacred foundry <clears throat> tapped and i'll pass the turn all right um i will start off by saying i am playing my tesa carlo deck um tesa is two and orzov for a uh two four human advisor and her main thing is uh she doubles her death triggers and then she buffs up my tokens. So she, uh, yeah, she gives my tokens uh, lifelink and vigilance. Uh, so my my whole thing is I'll be uh, I'll be making uh, putting out death trigger creatures and doubling those up, and then putting out a bunch of a uh, bunch of little tokens and swinging with those tokens. So we love uh, we love aristocrats, and so we'll mm -hmm. see how we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will draw, and I'll play a swamp, and I'll say go. Okie dokie. So I will play a forest, and I will tap two, and I'm going to far seek. I am going to go get... Hmm, what do I want to do here? Do both. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to go get a tapped Overgrown Tomb, and I'll pass the turn. Play Planes, and then I will tap two and play Bishop of the Wings. Well, what does I'll Bishop of the turn. Wings do? It is a 1-4, mm -hmm. and whenever an angel enters the battlefield under my control, I get to gain four life. And if an angel dies, I get to create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Oh, wow. Well. Sounds sounds pretty good. Uh, sounds I, on theme. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will untap and I will draw. That's not what I need. I will play a foil planes. And then I'm going to tap one. And play Enlightened Tutor. What are you getting? Um, let's see. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to be fetching um, spell shock. Let's uh, go over here to my super so card. so Leslie. This is why Brian dies first. Um, so spell shock costs three. It's two and a red. And it's an enchantment, and whenever any player successfully casts a spell, spell shock deals two damage to him or her. Wow. Well, that's a thing. I didn't even say Brian dies first. You said that, so just remember. No, I'm so aware. You, are you I'm passing a, I, after that, Brian? Pardon? Are you passing after that? Yeah. Okay. I will draw. 
Uh, I said it's going to be a slow one for me. So I'm just going to drop this planes and I'm going to pass. Okay, so I will pay two. And I'm going to play a Sakura Tri Builder. And I will pass the turn. I'm going to miss a land drop. God. Don't you hate that? <gasps> I'm going to play Shadow Spear. Um, and I'll just pass turn. Oh, Shadow Spear is a 1 1. It gives a uh, quick creature life, link, and trample, and permanents you control have loose, or I can pay one to have permanents your opponents control lose hex proof and indestructible till the end of turn. Uh, but I drew. I am going to play a foil swamp. And then I am going to just get a creature on the board. I'll cast my uh, commander there. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, that'll be a, that'll, I'll pass my turn I will draw man and I said it was going to be a slow one for me so <clears throat> going to be a swamp and pass okie dokie <laughs> I will untap and draw um I'm going to play a Shizo Death Storehouse. Then I'm going to pay five. And I'm going to cast my commander. Crush the Blood Braided. Um, then I guess I will pass the turn. I will play Rogue's Passage. And then I think I need some assurances on the battlefield. So I'm going to play Spear of Heliod. Creatures I control get plus one, plus one. And I can pay three to destroy target creature that dealt damage to me this turn. Um, and I'm just going to pass. Yeah, sounds legit. <laughs> mm. um, I will untap and I will draw. Um, I will play Command Tower. I will... Tap three, and I will play Spell Shock. So that's the thing now. You will rue the day, <laughs> right? I, guess I better start gaining some life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that will actually, I will tap one, and I'm going to play Ethereal Armor on my commander. Um, enchant creature, enchant creature gets plus one plus one for each enchantment you control and has first strike. Is that so? I will pass the turn. Um, I'll untap nothing and I'll draw. All right. The only reason I kept this hand is to tap four and play a Keeper of the Accord. Nice, nice. Pretty sure that's you know, pretty sure that's a good card, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's uh, it's white ramp. Yellow oh, it's that one. It. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that'll be my turn. Uh, Okie dokie. So I will untap my lands. I will draw. That ooh, that changes what I was gonna do. <laughs> Two, five, and six. Oh, God. I'm going to play Singer, the Dark Baron. Oh, that's a card. I'm going to take two. Um, we have Flying, four, four. Whenever another creature dies, put two plus one, plus one counters on Singer, the Dark Baron. Uh, whenever another player loses the game, you gain life equal to, the uh, to that player's life total as the game, or as the turn began. Gosh, and as partner. Love it. It's neat. I'm yeah, very excited nice. about this. Um, how big is Gwen? Um, she would be a four, four five. Hmm. First track. Yeah, I'm passing it. Yeah, I'm passing the turn anyways. I didn't really care. <laughs> I see how this is. I have I have an end of turn effect. Okay. Uh, my 
my uh, my keeper of the accordal sugar. And Zach, you can you both control more creatures than me and more lands. Mm-hmm. So I will make a one one white human soldier. And I will go search uh, for a planes. Put on to left attempt. I'm not going to play anything. Uh, I'm just going to leave some mana up and say go. Oh, oh yeah. Now you're threatening the white counter spell? I see how this is. I will draw. <laughs> I'm going to also miss a land drop. So we should keep a count of how many land drops I've missed so far. <laughs> I will play a strip mine. Oh, jeez. I will. Andrew, how many lands do you have? Four? Five now? Uh, I have five now. Okay, I'll pass the turn because you won't get anything from me. Oh, man. All right. Untap. And that will drop. All right, I'm going to play two spells. So I'll tap four, and I'll play Tesa. And then I'll tap two, and put play the Grievies. Please take four damage. So I'll take four damage, yep. All right, and if uh, there are no responses, uh, I will go ahead and put the grievies on to Tessa. Now she's Tessa with the fancy boots. <clears throat> Tessa with the fancy boots. Um, yeah, so that'll be my turn. I'll go ahead and pass. Cool. I will untap. I will draw. I guess I do have the mana to do all of that. Okay, I'm going to pay one, and I'll take two damage. And I'm going to play a Faithless Looting. Seeing as they're not relevant in this game, a Red Elemental Blast and a Guttural Response are going to be my two discarded cards. I'll pay three, taking two more, and I'll play a Champion of Lamholt. Uh, one, one. When a uh, creature's power... That creature with a power less than Champion Lamholt's power can't block creatures I control, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I put a plus one plus one counter on Champion of Lamholt. Then I am going to move to combat here. Andrew, I'm going to hit you for four through the air. Um. Yeah, I'll take four. And then I would, I'll pay two, taking two more damage, Brian, and I'll play a Netherborn Altar, and I'll pass the turn. What what does the altar do? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Netherborn Altar altar is one in a black for an artifact. I can tap it to put a soul counter on Netherborn Altar, and I put my commander into my hand from the command zone. Then I lose three life for each soul counter on Netherborn Altar. <clears throat> okay. How many lands do you have, Zach? Six. Oh, okay. I also have six. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's all I had. In Woman of the Suns, I gain two life from that and lose two life, so I'm even. Um, it allows me to have a soldier, and I'm going to attack. Draw. And then I think I'm just going to sack. No, I'm no, I'm just going to pass. I guess. Um, we will go one, two, three. And I will play Grasp of Fate. You're obnoxious. <laughs> I will lose two. Um, I will Grasp of Fate the Accord. Um, the Baron. And 
We'll say this uh, helioid spear thing. Uh, that would be my turn. Did you take your two damage? Uh, I sure did. I'll untap. No, draw. Uh, I'll tap four. I'll pay two. And I'll play a Seraph of the Scales. So flying, uh, it's an angel. Mm -hmm. Isn't that exciting? It is exciting. <laughs> it's a flying four or a four three. Uh, I can pay white to give it vigilance, and I can pay black to give it death touch, and has afterlife too. But um, but yeah, that's gonna be my turn. I think I'm gonna. I actually, you know what? Um. Leslie, can I poke you for one so I can gain one life? Sure. Leslie, I'll poke you for one. And I'll gain one life. And that'll be my turn. Cool. I will <laughs> untap. I'll draw. I'm going to pay two and play an arcane signet. I'm going to pay five. And I'm going to play a Nesting Dragon. Uh, nesting Dragon's a 5-4 with flying and landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I create a 0-2 red dragon egg creature token with defender. And when this creature dies, create a 2-2 red dragon creature token with flying and one red for fire breathing. Uh, I got to pass the turn. Go ahead, Leslie to pay three and sacrifice Omen of the Sun to scry two. I forgot to take four damage. Thank you for being honest. Mm-hmm. And I will draw. I will play land. Yay. Yay, the streak's over. Yay. Um, and then I'm going to play Sarah the Benevolent. Always do life for that. See, it's so and much fun. To... <laughs> it is, yes. Especially if I can minus three her and put out an angel onto the battlefield and I will gain four life for that. Oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> and I will pass turn. Okay, I will untap and draw. I will play a Cabal Coffers. I will tap three. And I am play going to play Grim Guardian. Um, so two and a black. Enchant enchantment Creature Zombie. Um, Constellation. Whenever Grim Guardian or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. I'll just pass the turn. All right. What's what's worse? What's worse for us? This this uh, mana thing, this uh, spell shock thing, or the mm -hmm. grasp of fate? I don't like that, Andrew. Um. Let's see. What does grasp of fate get everyone back? Leslie gets her spear. I get senior, and you get your accord. Um. Grim. Having to having the the cost of two life for every single spell. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I feel be... like I feel like while she's still at forty one life, well, let's do keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm at I'm at twenty nine. <laughs> yeah, like me and Zach are me and Zach are getting punched for this for just playing the game. <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> well, you're playing the game still. It's not like I'm. You have to pay two extra mana to do whatever you want. It's. It's not as. Bad. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down to twenty four, unfortunately. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna anguish on making your spell shock. Is that exile or destroy? Exile. Uh, dis exile. Exile. This ain't a vindicate, bro. Which means I probably won't see my keeper of the accord again, but yeah, all that stays in exile. Fun, fun. Oh, I will. 
Land for turn. Field of Ruin. I will tap six. And I'll play a Grave Titan. When Grave Titan ETBs, I'll make two zombies. Uh, then I will tap two. And I'll play a Blood Artist. And that's going to be my turn. I will pass. Okay. I will untap and draw. Okay. Uh, land for turn will be an Opal Palace. That'll trigger my dragon. Mm -hmm. For now, this Gnarly Goat is going to be my token because Jax has hidden all of my uh, <laughs> my Dry Erase tokens from Infinity Tokens. Yeah, I'll pay a red mana and I'm going to gamble. Don't know what I want to gamble for, but I want to gamble for something. I kind of missed you guys all losing life every spell. Just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and I get a counter here. That's important. We miss our stuff. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I want? That's the question. Benson says that he's never fortunate with gambles. <laughs> I mean... If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's just in my graveyard. So Benson, I don't know if Andrew's heard the story. He searched for Urza twice with Gamble, and both times he had to discard it. Oh. It was super funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I want this card but i don't know if there's a better choice sorry guys this is still a this is my first time playing this deck so i want to make sure i'm getting what i need to get sure sure <laughs> no i think i'd rather have that one yep see had a better target all along all right <laughs> brian um you can roll a d6 if you want one through three Right or, or left? Six. Or left or right, whatever. I don't care. Let's go on the right. It was Vandal Blast. Was that what you were going for? It was not. Okay, that's good to know. So I will pay... I will pay... A green, a black, and a red. No. Yeah, yeah. A red. And I'm going to play a Scarland Thranix. Then I want to move to combat, maybe? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Uh, Brian, five to the air. Well, that's not nice. But I must accept it. Um, it'll pass turn. I thought Sun Gear was what got Graspa faded. Yeah, I have a nesting dragon. Oh. So I'm going to play Radiant Destiny, choosing animals. Dinosaurs, oh. dinosaurs exactly. Oh. Angelic dinosaurs. Um, so four, five, six, ten. I have City's Blessing. Bless up. Which I will draw in a second. Um, and then I'm gonna plus two my Sarah to give creatures I control with flying plus one plus one until the end of turn. And I'm gonna swing five at Andrew, offering a trick. Five at Andrew? Yeah. All in the air? In the air, yep. Um, 
I'll block with my Sarah mm -hmm. so that I can make my little flyers. My, my spirits. So How I'll big? block. Uh, this is a 4 3, so we'll kill one. Mine's a 5 5. Oh, it's a 5 5. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, uh, I'll block my Seraph and I will make four white black spirit tokens. And I will pass turn. Okay. Something good. Give me something good. Please. <laughs> Can't even play it. <laughs> How many artifacts and enchantments are out there? Oh, that spirit token. <laughs> I have two know. artifacts. Two. I have one, one artifact. So five. Andrew, I wish you had more because you take most away from me. Um, <laughs> I will just pay one to play a mana vault. I'll pass the turn. Oh, and no, bro. So does he have a vandal blast? Who? You. Vandal Blast doesn't hit enchantments, though. Well, so what is he at? So is it a dock side? Was it just a dock side? It could be a dock side. But he said he wished you had more so because you've taken more away from him. Who knows? Yeah. Just... Thought um, season's him. Find out. Okay. Now I'll move to attacks and I'll send four spirits. Two zombies and Grave Titan, all at Brian. <laughs> Your face, Brian. <laughs> what? Four so spirits, so four one ones in the air, two zombies on the ground, and then a six six death touch zombie. So I'll block two zombies. Okay. So I will take four. Wubba lubba dub dub! Four and six will be, you'll take ten. Take ten, sure. Um, so when my two zombies, uh, what are the power and toughness of the creature that you're blocking with? One, four, and a one, two, three, five, five, six? Okay, so uh, I only so one creature dies. So first, I I gain four, five, six, seven, eight, gain eight life. Right, I'll just on the swing, and then one creature died. So I'll gain um, I'll gain two life because Tasa doubles it, and then Bra no Zach take two. So, and that'll. So only one two two zombie died. Yeah, one two two zombies died. Okay. Wait, I thought Brian said he blocked two zombies. One's only a one I... four. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So no, neither of his creatures died. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. gotcha. All right. And then that'll be my turn. I'll go ahead and pass. Um. At the end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice this egg to my Scarlet Thernix to put a counter on it. And when the egg dies, I get a 2-2 flying dragon with fire breathing. To trigger this. Now I will go to my turn. When that, when that creature dies, I'll gain two life and Leslie. I will draw. Let's see here. Andrew, what kind of blockers do you have? I have four spirits in the air. I have three zombies on the ground. Cool, cool. I also have Blood Artist, a soldier, and Tesa. Mm hmm, mm hmm. But he's not going to block. Right. Those, are things, those are things you have. Let's see, I want to swing, but it literally feels like anyone I swing at other than Brian does nothing. 
No, it's all that and life I'm flank. Gonna, I'm not going to swing at Brian. But something's got to die. So. I like things dying. As do I. I'm going to move to combat. And. Mm. I am going to. Well. Yeah, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to declare my dragon as an attacker at Andrew. And I'm going to pay one red, two red, three red, giving it. Uh, Plus it's going to be zero. Yep. So it's going to be a 5 2 until end of turn. Um I'll block with a spirit. Okie dokie. Um before damage is dealt, I'm going to pay a black. And I'm going to village rights my dragon. Oh nice. So I will sacrifice this. Put five counters here. When that dies, I will gain two, and you will lose two. Then I'm going to pay four and play a Corpse Jack Menace. I will pass the turn. I'm going to plus two to give creatures with flying plus one plus one until the end of turn. Tap two to equip Shadow oh. Spear. We got Ryan in chat saying to kill me. <laughs> well, you know, I was kind of thinking Zach might need to die too. But he's got flyers up right now too that are mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing my angel, which is a six, six, seven, seven, um, at Andrew. Whoa. Um, yeah, it does, it has trample. Oh, that's trample. Life blinks, worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I will still, I will still chump. Can you not hear me? Oh, you're uh, back. We, we couldn't, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I said pass. Sorry, uh, no, um, no, you're good. Untap and draw. Well, this is kind of pointless, but let's play it. I will tap one. land tax <laughs> solid very solid um and i will what's andrew got he's gonna kill me i, have uh, I gotta keep my blocker spirits. up yeah no pass uh you have a trigger oh yeah everybody loses one life mm -hmm. what's that from um, oh, from right. my Grim Guardian. Yeah, the Grim Guardian, yeah. Just trying to play an honest game of Magic, guys. As oh, much as good. it pains oh. me. I'll tap four for a Thran down. I will move to attacks, and I will send your... Oh, your angel's vigilant, Lizzo? I said he's blessing. It was vigilant anyway, but... Oh, and so it's a. Is it still a seven seven? It is a six six. It's a six six. All right, I will send. Um, I'll send Grave Titan at Sarah, the Benevolent, and I will send two zombies. At, uh, at just at you, Leslie. All right. I will block Grave Titan with my 1-1 one, one soldier. Okay. Does it have a lifelink? Nope. Um, and I will take, or I'll block hmm, one of the zombies with my angel and hope that okay. you're not, don't have shenanigans and the other zombie I will take. So I will. I don't, uh, I will gain. I'll gain four for the the creature swinging, mm -hmm. and then I have two death triggers, 
and I'll put um, one in both of you. Let's see. What all died? Uh, two two zombie, a one one spirit, and yeah, and That's a one one um, soldier, right? No, no, just a two two zombie and a and a one one soldier. Okay. So is it two life or? Oh no, Tesa makes it four life. Tesa makes it four. Uh, uh, yeah, so Tesa will make it four life total. So I gained four, lost four, so I'm even. Yay. All right, and that'll be my turn. I'll pass. Okay. I'll untap. Oh, crap. Enjoy. Champion of Wendell has six counters on it. Crash is at 19. Or 18. That, yep. Well, it's actually 18, 19, 20, 21. That's a weird number to be at. Right? Perhaps we should stop attacking each other and just kill these other two and be done with them. And then we can continue on. You and I? Is that a threat, Leslie? Whoa, no. whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Did I say hmm. that out loud? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I really don't want to try to be mean, but I feel like I was... My life was just threatened. Did you see your life flash before your eyes? I saw someone's life flash before their eyes. Ooh, buddy. It's probably mine. <laughs> kill Andrew, I'm just playing all angles here. <laughs> all right. So champion is a 7-7. Seven, seven. What is the biggest creatures everyone has? Like, just the biggest on their board. I have a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, six. Uh, six, nine. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, six, seven. Six. Not as nice. Um, okay. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? That is the question. All right. Um, I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to attempt to kill Andrew. I hate that you did this. I hate that you're putting me in this position, Zach. Are you just I... saying anything for matter? Uh, yeah, you know. Are you going to Teferi's Protection? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to swords the plowshares your champion of Um, So in response, I'm going to sacrifice champion of Lampholt to my Thranax, which will put two counters on it. And champion of Lampholt was a 7-7. Um, seven, seven. So I will get 14 additional counters on Crash. And uh, and you'll lose two, and I'll gain two. Sure. And unless you have anything on Crash, I think Crash is not Trample? Yeah, he's, uh, he's not Trample. Yeah, I'll block with the Soldier. Okie dokie. Um, so your soldier will die. It's just a 1-1, one, one, right? It is, yeah. I'll get two counters on Crash. I'll gain two, and you'll lose two. Sure. Okay. Um, in my second main phase, I am going to sacrifice my Nesting Dragon to my... Scarlet and Thranix, and I will put two more counters on him. Put ten counters on Crash. Gain two, and you'll lose two. Sure. Then I will sacrifice the uh, Thranix itself 
and I will put 10 counters on Crush. Let's see. Gain two, and you'll lose two. Sure, yeah. Are you um, thudding someone? No. He's about to fling it. I am, I'm going to fling it at Andrew. Really didn't want to do this to you, man. Really. He's going to tear his protection. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I didn't want. I didn't want to do it. I really didn't force it. And <laughs> then I'm gonna put a soul counter on um, this thingy and put crush back in my hand. Is sacking it a uh, a part of like casting it? Yep. In addition to casting. Okay, so so you you sack that before it resolves all game two, and Leslie moves two. Um. Then still second main phase. We will go. How much do you cost? Five. Okay. I will tap Global Palace and these to replay Crash. Um, because I played it with Opal Palace and paid the mana, he'll enter with two counters on him instead of the one. And I will pass the turn. Well, I tried. I were minus three my Sarah and made another four for Angel, gained four life from Bishop of the Wings. And then I played Lyra Dawnbringer. Other angels I control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink. Um, and I gain four life from Bishop of the Wings. And now I'm going to move to combat. Brian, you have the life, so I'm going to swing it at you. Then that's how much? Seven. And is that commander damage or anything? No. Nope. No, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down to 12. You guys can't hear me say pass, but yes, yeah. I passed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will untap. Well, I hope I get another turn, but I doubt I will. Cause I want to introduce some fun stuff to the game. Actually, no, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, I'm untapping, and I'm drawing. I'm gonna send Grave Titan that Brian. Why? Don't understand this madness. Okay. Um, one, two. He plays to various protection. <laughs> um, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. Ralph? I will play Helioid's Intervention and I will gain 14 life. I really thought you had route for a second. I was going to be very impressed. And then I'm losing six from Graveborn or Titan. Grave Titan? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. That'll be my turn. I'll go to pass. Okay. I'll uh, untap. I'll draw. Hmm. I will play a mountain. Yeah, I think I just have to do this. We will go green, green, three, and I will play a Michaeloth, and I will eat Crash. So he would enter with two plus one plus one counters. Um, Corp Shock's Menace makes it four. Okay. I'll and... gain two life. And Brian loses two. I don't understand why. But I accept it. All right. I pass it down. All right. I'm going to plus two Sierra, Sarah and give all of my flying creatures plus one plus one until they get turn. Oh, jeez. What color are your spirits? 
White. White. Um, and those are the only flyers you have? Oh, I like these yes. questions. Yeah, these are good questions. Three. And play a Chroma's Blessing. Creatures I control gain protection from a color of my choice until the end of turn. I choose white. Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. But yeah, they're black and white. I forgot, but it doesn't, it matter. doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm gonna move to combat, and I'm gonna swing all of my flyers at you. That's so ten six, eight, and seven and seven. Oh god! So twenty twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh. And seven of it is commander damage. I'm, I'm at thirty-three. I have seven commander damage from the Lyra Dawnbringer. And I'm going to gain that much life because they all have life link. And I will pass turn. Sounds good. I will untap. I will lose one life. Oop. Brian, you can't be playing so reckless right now. <sighs> That's my middle name. <laughs> I will draw... Actually, no. Um, sorry, land tax trigger. Andrew has eight lands, so do you, Zach. So I'm going to go and find myself a land. Or, well, three basic lands. Um, I will play a mountain. Yeah, super easy. All he has to do is swing in with his commander. 21 damage. I will... One, two, three, and four... Let's just go ahead and put another target on my back. Furnace of Wrath. <laughs> Double all damage assigned to any creature or player. Jeez. You can either use me or you can get rid of me. <laughs> okay. Um. That would be my turn. I will untap. No. Something hopefully really, really good. But we'll see. All right. I'm going to move to attacks. And Leslie, I'll send my Grave Titan at you. All you right. Your um, I'm going to block with my 7 7 Angel. Yeah. Uh, um, it has death touch, so they'll both die. Okay, so that's two creatures dying. So, Blood Artist would deal two damage with Tesa, but four damage. Coming to me. Do I still? So, would that um, would, that wouldn't be four damage, would it? That'd be doubled again. So, so it maybe? would be eight. It would be eight total. But I'll, do I still only gain four? believe so yeah i don't think i don't think it would change that so no. I'll, so I'll gain four and then leslie take eight and i gained and then, seven so i lost one gotcha. and then one two three four five six And let's do the math. I'll steer command. So you're choosing creatures? Yeah. Which Does it resolve? Uh, no one's playing blue, buddy. Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah, all creatures will die. Um, so how many creatures are there on the board? I have two. Two. Three. I have 14. So two, two plus two plus three plus fourteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Seems right. Twenty-one, twenty-one creatures are dying. So that would be with blood artist. That would be twenty-one triggers, but Tesa doubles that. 
It's actually four times. It's doubled. Doubled then doubled. The source would be double. Double. Okay. So with Tesa, it's forty-two damage that I could assign, but then so it's eighty-four damage I can assign. Why? Why are you doubling the double? So so twenty-one with blood artist. Twenty-one right. creatures die. Nice. So, and then Tesa doubles that. So that's yeah. 42. And mm-hmm. then Furnace of Wrath doubles that. So it's 80. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I assign 17 to Brian. I assign 11 to Zach. And then mm-hmm. the remainder to Leslie. So 28, 84 minus 28. 56, and I gain 42. Mm-hmm. So I go up to 79. You guys basically just switched life totals. Mm-hmm. And I lost all my creatures and they have no mana. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll recast Tesa with the greenies. Pass attack. Oh, I think we get our spear and the keeper of the accord back. Yep. Top six. No, wait. <clears throat> to play Bruna the Fading Light and return Bishop of Wings back to my battlefield. And then I'm going to. Do you make that. that... The the Eldrazi horror. Oh, the angel one. Yeah. Briselda. Briselda. Mm. Both of them in here, but. Um, and we have some new sickness, so I will pass turn. Untap. Draw. Land and past. Andrew, you have no flyers. I do not have any flyers. I'm gonna play Bane Slayer Angel, flying for strike life flank, protection from demons and dragons. It's a five five. Um I'm going to minus six Sarah and get an emblem. That as long as I have a creature, uh, damage that would reduce my life total to less than one, is it to one instead. And then I'm going to swing oh, wow. five, seven um, in the air at you, of course, Andrew. I'll pick five. Gain five. I'll pass turn. I think I'm on the losing end of this. Oh yeah, especially if I keep on doing lands. Oh, um, at your end step, I make us make a one-one soldier because you have more creatures than me. All right, no, yeah, and I'll play a land and I'll pass. And yeah, I think this is just uh, just some maths. No. As to how long, card and Sebastian, now I have enough to play Lyra. I'm going to play Lyra, gain four life. And then I will swing with, uh, oh, yeah, Bruna and Baneslayer Angel. And they are six. Seven, Ten total? Seven. Nope. Because they have their buff oh. up because of this. So. Oh, dang. So they're both. Seven, so 14 total. Yeah. So I gave That'll put me down to 60. And I'll pass turn. And draw. Uh, you have more creatures than me again, so I'll make another soldier. I'm not drawing any Hard draw, so this isn't good, but um 
Grove Solo. And I'll pass. Field Marshal, we'll gain four life. And then I will, as long as I control my commander, Angelic Field Marshal, get plus two, plus two, and creatures you control have vigilance. So seven, seven, and I believe that is six. Uh, so okay. yeah, so that'll put me down to 39. Okay, I'm at 64, and, and uh, six of that was commander damage again. And I'll pass turn. Yeah. yeah uh, I'm going to say if I don't draw board wipe, then you got it. And that is not a board wipe. You got it. Awesome. <laughs> hey, look Jeez. at that. There we go. Mono White yep. Angel seals the deal. Mono White Angel seals the deal.